Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today's video, I am continuing my Walmart series. If you have not seen my first Walmart video, it is um, creating Bella Hadid outfits at Walmart. And I wanted to do like another celebrity version of this video. So today is going to be Hailey Bieber, my absolute hands down favorite. I think I'm actually more excited to do her because I think her style is a little bit closer to mine. So I'm so stoked. I'm gonna take you guys to Walmart with me. Um, it's just down the street from my house and then we'll come back and try on all the stuff. Um, I thought I'd quickly do a little outfit of the day, keep this kind of vlog style. I have on this little oversized hoodie from H&M. I will link all of this. Um, kind of looks like off-white to me. This oversized leather jacket from Misguided. Just some denim shorts for safety, you know what I mean? And Misguided boots. And then my hoops are from H&M and all my rings are from Windsor and Adina's Jewels. So, oh, hello. If you're new to the channel, um, welcome and feel free to subscribe. Me and my husband do tons of vlogs. I do a ton of fashion and beauty. This is basically like a full lifestyle channel. First, I need some coffee ASAP, so we're gonna stop at Starbucks, and then we're going to Walmart, girl, let's go! I had to run home because I realized my camera was about to die and I didn't have any batteries, so I got the batteries, got my coffee. If you guys are stumbling across this video and have never watched um, our channel before, or follow me on Instagram, we'll have it linked below, but um, this is like my favorite fall drink from Starbucks ever. It is an iced coffee with pumpkin sweet cream on top, and it is the bee's knees. Like, you need to try it if you haven't yet. So, um, if you look on my Instagram under my Instagram highlights, I have my coffee order like on a highlight, so you can refer back to it. But, um, okay, we are on our way. We are back in business, sorry for the delay and let's get to Walmart. <laughs> okay, I know immediately the first thing that I need is a pair of chunky hoops, because that is like her signature. So we need gold hoops. Ah, perfect. This is what I'm talking about. Perfect chunkiness, it's like kind of around the same size that she wears. These are perfect, and then they're kind of cute too. Like different styles, but I'll probably just go with the one. I feel like that's what she wears. She wears like the same pair of hoops with like every single outfit. Okay, next we need a gold watch and a pair of sunglasses. She literally wears the same pair of Celine sunglasses with every outfit. I'll put them here on the screen. And, oh, these kind of look like my Gucci ones. Okay, so let's see if we can find a similar shape. These are kind of nice. It's like this. This is like close, but she doesn't feel, I don't feel like she does. those. Okay, not for this, but like, I'm sorry. These are so cute. These look like runway glasses, like designer glasses. Walmart, what the heck? Sorry, I'm trying to move the tech. <laughs> okay, sunglasses are kind of tough because the shape is very specific, but I feel like this is the closest I've gotten. They're not, they're not very close, but they're closer. So this is kind of what I'm working with. Okay, next I need to find a watch and she, Normally wears just like a gold wind Rolex watch. So I'm just need actually something super simple. These actually like low key look like Rolexes. I'm sorry, these are so cute from Timex. This is like, looks just like the Rolex with the pearl face. This is really cute, but this is a little bit smaller. She wears hers a little bit thicker. So let's see. It's perfect and it's eight dollars you guys it literally looks just like a Rolex this is so cute I love it okay we need this I feel like we got most of the accessories so I think I'm gonna head to the men's section first because she wears a lot of oversized stuff and I think we're gonna have a lot of luck there okay this is the men's sweat section so they've got just tons of sweatpants and sweatshirts this is exactly what we need and I'm kind of drawn to this charcoal gray color. I feel like it's 
just looks really nice. It's like a good gray. So I think I'm gonna get these in a medium, get them kind of baggy. And then I got a large in just the crew neck hoodie so we can make a little sweatsuit. That's really cute. Need a black jacket for one of the looks. And this is not quite what the look is, but I think it could work. I feel like it's kind of something I could see her in. Let's see, maybe we do a large. That could be a little bit big, but she goes big or goes home, so. Done and done. Okay, hats, I feel like she's been wearing a ton lately. This is the women's section. I'm just gonna get a few colors. I like white and maybe black. They are only, how much? 375, so I'm gonna get white and black. I don't know if any of my looks necessarily have hats, but she definitely wears them. Oh my God, they have a ton of cardigans in the women's section. Okay, these are cute. Oh my God, that one. Okay, she definitely had on a cardigan in one of the looks that I'm going for. So I think I'm gonna go medium just so that it's extra big. Actually, kind of runs big. Yeah, let's go medium. Perfect, so excited about that. These are $22, look how many colors they have. They're so cute. Here we go, $2 camis. This is what we need. I feel like she always has some basic camis. Let's do a size small. In white. Perfect, and then put a black one too. These are essential, $2 a yes. Holies! Freaking out because I just found like the glasses. They are literally almost identical. Stop it. These are literally the Celine glasses. Okay, I don't even need these other ones. Putting them back. I'm dying, you guys. <gasps> are you kidding? Like, I'm literally gonna put a picture up right here because, like, that's just stupid good. Oh my gosh. So she definitely is into, like, you know the sneaker thing she's definitely more street style so i feel like she wears a lot of like men's vibes sneakers um but usually like in lighter colors so i'm thinking something like this would be good looks like this is the smallest size seven in men's um which might be a little bit big for me but it will but let's just we'll get them for the sake of the video and they're like pretty good colors just white black and red i feel like definitely have seen her in things like this so we'll do that okay you guys I'm back home and I'm ready to try on the outfits I think it's gonna be really good I have mostly what I need I'm gonna have to supplement with just a few things from my wardrobe that I wasn't able to find at Walmart so I will explain all the details and have all those items linked below as well in addition to the Walmart stuff so without further ado let's get into look number one Let's start with, I think we should start with the jogger set because I feel like it's so comfy and like everyone will love it. So here we go. I'm just gonna put my hair up in a bun because let's face it, basically every single picture of her, she has pretty much this low bun. It's like her signature. So I'm just gonna gather it all up, twist it around. And she always uses scrunchies. So I have this little satin white scrunchie from Misguided just gonna keep everything together perfect and then these are my own hoops but let's swap out for the Walmart hoops which are here they are $3 288 to be exact so these are like the Hailey Bieber basics that you need in order to look like her like the bun and the hoops are key so key and the sunglasses okay these were my favorite find from Walmart, so I'm just gonna like talk about them now and show them to you guys. And I think they're the best find. I mean, come on, look at this situation already. Like we already are halfway there. Like we're basically Hailey Bieber at this point. They look so close to the ones that she has, which are by Celine. They're super expensive. So I know you guys are gonna love these. Um, they're pretty amazing. I will link below. All right, and then the other accessories that are gonna kind of stay constant throughout this are the watch that we found. So this is literally only $9, you guys, at Walmart, and it looks like a Rolex, like so plain, classic, 
and amazing. I would totally get it if you don't have a watch. Um, and I actually have, my watch is a Rolex because my dad passed it down to me, which was a really amazing gift like when I went to college. But look how close the shapes are. This is a men's watch, so it's a little bit bigger, but do you see how it's like very similar? So I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure Haley's is a woman's Rolex, so it's like this one, but just a little bit more petite. And I feel like this is like a dead dupe for it. So I love that. And then the rings that I'm wearing are a pack of rings from Windsor. I will link them below. And then I have a little pinky ring on from Adina's Jewels, but I'm gonna kind of keep those pieces of jewelry on through the whole video and then I'll supplement with other stuff in between. Um, okay, so this is kind of what we need to get started. Let's go ahead and put on the first look. this picture here she's wearing a neon sweatsuit but I wanted to go for a more neutral version because I just feel like it's more wearable and people could see themselves in it probably a little bit better and neon is fun every once in a while but I feel like for most of us we want to wear neutrals on an everyday basis so I went with this gray color and these are both from the men's section this is a size medium in the crew neck and then a size medium in the sweats Obviously the waist is super big, but I just tied it. She wears everything like really oversized, so you have to upsize in order to get the vibe. Um, the sneakers are so cute. I love them. I feel like they're a cross between um, the Alexander McQueen ones and like Golden Goose sneakers, so cute. And then I got my watch, hoops, and the glasses are from H&M. I had these myself, but I'm sure there's some on Walmart available, or I can try and link these ones, even though I've never been able to find them online. Such a cute, cozy look, especially like if you're in college and you need outfits for class. I think that like she does that really well. Like she makes like comfy, cozy clothes. Uh, look like cute and stylish dressed up. So I'm obsessed with this. Kind of want it in every single color. I just like love the bigness of it and it's amazing. Here is the next look and I love this one. So. Basically, I wasn't able to find anything tie-dye at Walmart, which is fine. I just kind of improvised with this little men's um, type of like thin hoodie thermal shirt that's a similar color. So it's like a beige oatmeal, which is like my favorite color ever. Um, and then I found this fanny pack at Walmart, the glasses obviously, and the earrings. And then I just had to supplement with a few things from my own closet. So these booties, these sock booties, I could not find anything like that at Walmart. So these are from Boohoo. I think they are literally less than $20 you guys I've had them for years I'm obsessed with them they have them every season they're the perfect soft booty and they're so affordable so definitely linking those and then I also added my own jewelry she was wearing like a chain necklace in the picture so this one's from Windsor and then this chunkier style from Fawn Star this I got the men's throw over in a size large if you're a little bit taller, I'm only 5'2", you could go to XL, but it almost goes to my knees, so pretty sure most of us will be able to wear it as um, a dress. my booties they are from misguided I don't feel like they are the perfect booty to match the photo but they're kind of the closest I had so I just wanted to give you guys an idea um, but 
pretty much all of this is from the men's section. The jeans are from the men's section. They are a size 29. But I actually kind of like getting men's jeans because they fit like more of a boyfriend style. You just have to belt them really well. I found this belt in the women's accessories department. It's kind of Western style, like the one she has on in the photo. And then this shirt is the only like graphic tee I could find. It's from the little boys section in a size extra large and it's a transformer shirt and I literally just tucked it up. And then this oversized shirt is also from the men's section. It's a size XL. She wears everything super big and just kind of like open. But I think it looks really cool, especially with the glasses and the hoops and it's a really cool denim effortless look. I think this is really cool. And I feel like these jeans are like a really good staple. Like they fit really well and they're kind of that loose like boot cut straight leg that's super in right now. Here is the next look. This is super simple and like easy to wear. Literally the same jeans um, are sneakers that we showed earlier, just in white, and a basic white cami from also from Walmart is literally only $3. I also found this really cute bag at Walmart. I've seen her hold like a similar style one in a couple of pictures. Obviously this is no Louis Vuitton, but I still think it gives you the right idea. Any sort of like cross body bag, and I feel like this one looks really stylish. Um, would be really cute just glasses hoops and that's it so this is actually a really simple outfit that's like really easy to wear like on an everyday basis and really comfortable and easy really cute jeans the key from the guys jeans is that they're kind of wider so they create that like bagginess effect that she really has in all of her jeans so i feel like the men's jeans are key <laughs> Okay, so for this look, the only item that I did have to call in for reinforcement from my wardrobe is a leather jacket. I could not find any leather jackets in store at Walmart, but I know they have them online. This one I love, it's from Misguided, and I like it because it's like a boyfriend style leather jacket. It's under $100, I think around 60 bucks, so really not that bad, and I like that it's kind of that oversized style because I feel like that is what Haley just is all about, so it really nails that kind of like effortless, um, chic kind of like boxiness that she goes for. And literally just threw on a belt, but this is like another variation of like a jeans and a tank outfit that she wears a ton. You could also switch it out for a black top, um, but she just keeps things like really simple, but everything's really oversized. So it's super comfortable and honestly like so my style. I love being comfy and just chill. So this is so cute and I feel like a really cute go-to outfit like for dinner or for the day or whatever. So Okay, so I kind of put my own spin on this look because they didn't have any leather jackets and I wanted to kind of give you guys a cool jacket option. So this is kind of a departure from this look, but it was inspired by. So basically, these are my white boots from Misguided and this is just like a oversized men's t-shirt that I got. It's a extra large, it was like three bucks. Perfect as like a t-shirt dress. And this jacket is also from the men's section. It is by the brand Dickies. And I got this in a size large so that it would be super oversized and big. Even though it's not as structured as the blazer that she is wearing, I feel like this is still something she would wear because it's super oversized. It's like a men's vibe, very like cool and edgy. So I feel like it goes and it still looks really cute together and this type of jacket you could rewear a ton like over sweatsuits in the winter or with jeans or whatever. So then I threw on the little handbag. How cute is this bag? I like literally think it's so cute for Walmart. Like I'm really impressed. And then just same accessories. So I think it's really cool and kind of gives the same vibe. And I love it. And this like jacket has a hood on it, so that's kind of cool. And it'll keep you like really warm, you know? For this look, we're moving back into kind of the comfy zone. So Haley 
wears so many oversized sweatshirts and hoodies so really like any men's hoodie will work for this type of vibe and she always puts on a really cool pair of sneakers so she tends to wear like super high-end sneakers that are like or like Air Jordans and stuff like that so these kind of gave me the similar vibe they're very like they're actually a men's sneaker in their smallest size and they kind of look like Jordans also what you can do is just throw on a pair of denim shorts I feel like she does this a lot um, and you can lose the t-shirt and she'll just do like shorts and a hoodie a ton like with sneakers it's just very her and very comfy. So that's another variation. If you don't feel comfortable wearing a hoodie like as a dress, you can put a pair of shorts on underneath and just kind of let them peek out like this. So here's the last look. Again, really similar to hers. I could not find a picture to see what top she had on. So I just went with a white cami and kind of cropped it up. These are the same men's sweats, but I got these in a size small, so they're a little bit more fitted. This cardigan I found in the women's section is so cute. It's literally just like a perfect fall cardigan, like kind of thick, really luxurious feeling. And they had it in a million colors and it was literally only like $25. So I feel like even if you don't dress like Haley, this is like a great basic to have. The sneakers and um, I ended up I know she's not wearing a hat in the picture but she wears hats a lot so I kind of felt like the white was cute to create this kind of like all white look with the gray and it still gives me Haley vibes I just feel like this is definitely something she would wear um, so I just thought it was like a cute variation if your hair is greasy you just put it up in a hat or you can wear your hair down whatever you want to do but Super comfy. This is literally head to toe from Walmart, which is really cool. Really easy, comfy kind of college outfit um, or chill, like hanging around outfit. So I love it. All right, you guys, that's going to wrap up my Hailey Bieber Walmart video. I'll have all sizes, products, and everything linked in the description box down below. And please comment who I should do next. And I hope you guys loved it. I'll see you soon. Bye.